Bomba clock, them traffic and most of man. Bomba clock, where you going? I <laughs> <laughs> go up, I go Well, I put on a tattoo right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Where we coming from? Okay, so we're here once again. Panarim TV Nation, hope each and every one watching this right now having a wonderful day. So, while a lot of people addressing a clip we see circulating over social media with Vibes Cartel, right here we see an article came out about it. Vibes Cartel seemingly threatened to physically harm a woman during a TikTok live session. Social media users speculate that the woman is his fiance side him a stirk yes people so we see a lot of people not in favor the way how vibes cartel was behaving during the recent interview along with Isaac Buchanan as host yes people and you know it's like the way how vibes cartel came off a lot of people you know a bash him and say all type of things but right here we see vibes cartel post a recent video Yes, people, and everything look well between the two of them. We're going to get into that we have coming up. But first thing first, we see Aishana put out a post, you know, as you can see, a photo with Vibes Cartel. Recently, Vibes Cartel was at Down Sound Records. Yes, people, we see Aishana, Ari Tadler, Joe Bogdanovich, you know, the whole of them link ups, big up Skatabarrel, same way. Yeah, people, so it's like, I don't know if Vibes Cartel have some business move with them or what you know but you know vibes cartel link them up and he was also talking about studio session yeah man so vibes cartel plan to record in the near future you know not now vibes cartel same a focus on him health and you know spending time with his family right now but we see i shana post this photo right here and even me i wonder why vibes cartel in a shirt like this we see people are react as i can see this person post the demonic representation of his shirt though bloodshot eyes horns protruding from the head i saw you know so it's like we see couple comments similar to that one but right here you know me don't know if there is a agenda behind this shirt we see vibes cartel have on but it's like a lot of people see it pick it up and them not too too in favor of this right here same way like how them not too too in favor of vibes cartel with the alcohol bottle in him hand knowing that you know he might go through grave disease sickness yeah people so we see aishana took to her instagram and post i remember when everybody was trying to bring me down and vibes cartel did not one but two songs with me and for that i am forever grateful vibes cartel i wish you nothing but love joy blessings and prosperity in abundance hashtag living legend yeah so we got vibes cartel still but you know the shirt trust me the people them not too too in a them demonic thing there yes to the vibes cartel i talk about how he got closer to god you know while in prison while in my face the 13 years if i never got him would have come out so you know why have a shirt like this like yeah worship the devil yeah man okay so moving along the next topic right here we're gonna feature this article with you know a video circulating a clip from the interview yesterday vibes cartel appears to threaten a woman on tiktok live yes people so as you can see from the jamaica observer Kingston, Jamaica, less than a fortnight after his release from prison, dancehall entertainer Vibes Cartel seemingly threatened to physically harm a woman during a TikTok live session. Social media users speculate that the woman is his fiance, Sidemus Turk. In an appearance with lawyer Isaac Buchanan on Thursday night, the newly released entertainer was heard in the background threatening to box down a woman. The woman face was not shown on camera was heard explaining to the DJ that she was simply asking for the Wi-Fi password. The entertainer appeared 
to believe that the live stream had paused as his lawyer had indicated they were on a commercial break. His exact word saying, my girl, a who ya they a chat to? The DJ seemingly asked to which the woman responded the Wi-Fi was out. The DJ then warned her, don't do that a year before turning his attention back to Buchanan and the live session. Realizing his outburst, Cartel then instructed the camera personnel to delete the part there. However, his viewers had already witnessed the incident. And, you know, we see various comments over social media, a lot of people bashing vibes Cartel, especially the woman, you know, and right here, you know, we're totally against physically abuse against women, you know. I don't know if vibes Cartel apologized to her, but we see a video right here with vibes cartel and his wife you know at devanos then put out a vlog on well vibes cartel already start a vlogging page you know kiss me baby and we see the video out to what him seem happy good everything you know so i hope that is not a part of the relationship you know the box done thing there you know the whole physical thing against female we see a lot of people speaking out against yeah people so you know we see right here a video with vibes cartel and his female everything seem good and thing so people want to think about the whole situation we see caught on live stream you know people them very upset with vibes cartel and how he react yeah man Bomba club, them traffic and move some man. Bomba club, where are you going? <laughs> they go, they go. Well, I'll put on a tattoo right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Where are we coming from? You are come from the lash, me I come from the dentist. You see the winnings, man? Where we are going, babes? Devonance. Hold on. Put on it. Oh, go in another lip. Which lip? Where am I going? Oh, one second. And where are we going? <laughs> We're not going to be as we are never know. <laughs> oh my god, people like shouting out behind. Oh my god. Mm. You're on camera, man. You yeah, are? Yes, I did actually. I'm your personal photographer. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> what about me? Are we this? Are we this? <laughs> yeah, some of them. Um, they are um, with them. Yeah, what is it? Bowl and bowl. Bowl and bowl. Mother, hold on, and I buy some. Bowl and spoon. Yeah. See if you're not a man. Where is an audience? Well, bowl and spoon. Oh yeah, we're at the bowl and spoon mm -hmm. in in Devon House. Mm -hmm. Personally, more I prefer Sharon House, but you don't know it, go. <laughs> you don't know it, go. Yeah, man. They got the two girl. They got the two girl. Them in the um and thing and thing. Yeah, man. Big up on yourself, man. Yeah. So what we'll buy? What we just come by, Debs? I got two yogurt cups. Oh, uh, yeah. no, no, no. Yogurt, yogurt, yogurt cups. Yeah. No, say yogurt. Yogurt. Yeah, that's what you say. 